Hi, today's Pixelmator tutorial is about organizing your brushes, part 2. Now that we know where to find our brushes folder, let's examine a few more techniques on how to organize our brushes. The first I'd like to show you is creating a custom brushes folder. Now if you'll notice here, you can see my custom brushes folder here. Now let's, let's discuss how I actually created this. What I did was I chose any one of these particular files and I highlighted it and I copied it. Once I had it copied it, I renamed it Z file, which you can see here on the bottom. Then I made a copy of that Z file. So now I have a Z file and a Z file copy. I then renamed the Z file copy custom brushes. Select the action icon and then we can select the custom brushes. This is where I added all the custom brushes that I actually made for Pixelmator. Today I would actually like to create a new brushes palette called My Favorite Splatter Brushes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my finder window into the brushes file and I'll go down here to my Z file copy and I'm going to rename this Splatter Brush Faves. Now hopefully this will come up here. Yeah, here it is. Just above the splatter brushes. Now going back into Pixelmator, let's go ahead and select that palette. And here it is. Splatter brush frames. Next, I'm going to have to add some splatter brushes to this new brushes palette. So let's clear off our canvas. Then we're going to go down. I'm trying to remember exactly where uh, my favorite splatters were. Let's go into five here and let's see. This might have been one. And I think this was one of them. Actually, these two are the ones I would like to uh, add to my new folder. What I need to do is just go over here, click on it, and drag it to the desktop. And it gets duplicated. I'll click on this other one and drag it off as well. Now I'm going to add these to my splatter brush faves. And that's just a matter, again, of clicking them and then adding them. Click and add. Now that I have these two in there, I have no need for this one and I can remove that brush. And we can test these out looks pretty much the same to me. Well that's about it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.